Hello everybody, welcome back to another mid-journey tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create your own unique 3D avatar or your own 3D cartoon, cool little AI upload that you can use on TikTok, Instagram, etc. Here's an example of, uh, here's a couple of examples that I rendered out and I'm going to show you the original image. Here it is in Photoshop. Load it up. We've got this attractive uh, red-headed lady. Looks like Queen Elizabeth I. And then, bam, we go right into Discord and we do it and we get this awesome steampunk cool 3d avatar all right how did i do it let's start first step you basically want to go to midjourney.com so here it is you go to midjourney.com and you hit enter you go there the next step is you want to join the beta i'm going to click on it but keep in mind that i'm already part of the beta so it's going to shoot me directly into discord once you're in Discord, if you've already signed up, you'll go right in. If you haven't, you got to go through the steps. You go into Discord, you'll be in the mid-journey bot, basically, here. You'll see this little mid-journey uh, chat little bot on the left side. You're going to start off in announcements. You want to scroll down, and then you need to go into one of the newcomer rooms. I'm going to go into newbie 77 because it has the fewest number of people, I believe, because it's the newest room. But you need to go into a newcomer room. Click on that. And then it's going to go ahead and drop you in. Now, just scroll down to the bottom. And you want to basically be over this little chat bar. What you need to do next is you got to go to your Finder or your Windows Explorer. Grab the image that you want to use as your 3D avatar. Drag and drop that in. I'm going to hit Enter. And it, you're going to see that now. Uh, take a, Not that guy. Here she is. There we go. Now, hover over it. Right click on her. And then just copy the link. So I'm going to now copy the link of her. And now we're going to get to work creating the 3D avatar. Keep in mind, you get in mid-journey, the beta, you get 25 or so free ones. So um, you don't want to do too many, too many variations. But anyways, I'm ahead of myself. Now, in the chat bar here, right, top, type in forward slash imagine. Now... Command V on a Mac, Control V on a PC, and paste in that image. We're pasting in the link to the image. This is this this is telling Midjourney to use this image as the base for the avatar or the 3D cartoon. Now I hit spacebar and then type in 3D avatar, comma, cartoon, comma, photorealistic. This is an optional one, the photorealistic. All of this is optional. I just want to show you a really good setting to start. So it's photorealistic, and then I'm going to go with um, steampunk style because I want to show you what it looks like. But again, you guys can type in anything you want here. Just make sure you've got 3D and cartoon and avatar generally in there. Hit enter. When I'm done, I'm going to click enter. When it's done, I'm going to come back and show you what we got. All right, welcome back. Here we go. We got 3D avatar, cartoon, photorealistic, steampunk style. Now I'm going to click on this. It creates four images and we can either select, like look at that second one. Now the second one's great. The fourth one's a little rough. But the second one is fantastic. The first one's quite good too. All right, cool. What you do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on U1, which basically means I want to upgrade it. So I want to basically just upsample it, make it prettier. So I'm going to click on U1 and U2 because these are the two that I really, really like. And I'm going to select one of them in the final stage. So I've clicked U1, U2. Keep in mind if you don't, if you like something but you want some variations on it, it's like let's say this third one looks great, but it's not quite where you want it, but you like the look of it for the most part. You can click on the V, and this allows you to make variations. So I'm going to click on the V3 just to show you what it would look like. And then it says here you can make some remixes. So instead of maybe scene punk, maybe I would say, you know, it looks great, but I want cyberpunk style. Again, these are just options. Uh, I've got lots of tutorials on how to do this, but I would click Submit. And now I'm going to come back when all of these are done and show you what we got. All right, everybody, for the final for the final bit here, look at what we got. Here's an example. This was the uh, one that we upsampled or we made it a little better. We clicked the U on. Look how awesome that is. Let's click on another one. This is the other one we up. Look at this. We, this is an amazing 3D avatar, especially when you think about the original image. And then I made a few variations, for example, in a cyberpunky style. Not really my thing, but something to note. So anyways, you find one that you like and it really ticks the boxes, like this one, for example. I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go save image. I'm going to call it avatar. And that's it, guys. We have the PNG. You can use that for whatever you want. Thanks for watching.